what up what up Wimbush here and today i'm going to go over the new redshift update which is 2.6.33 and how to use it with the matrix cloner now before if you want to scatter objects using redshift you usually want the mograph and you use the cloner or if you have um forester you can use their cloner which is good but to be able to add more like more um objects across your field well, before a lot of people are saying that the matrix is a lot better to use it's more responsive it's kind of like using particles like i know people were scattering stuff before using x particles because they can handle a lot more so now with this recent update you can actually use the matrix to scatter your objects and i'm gonna show you how to do that right now so i have a brand new scene i'm just going to add a, a landscape here let's say um let's make it like 2000 by 25 by 2000 i'm gonna turn off my borders at sea level and we just have a, a nice decent sized plane here now so now if um if you have forester you can use forester if not you can use whatever objects but for this example i'm gonna just use forester and put in some grass so if I go over here, I could pick, um, let's say long grass. Let me reset materials, pick long grass. And if I look down here in my materials, I have my one grass here. I can exit everything out. And then I'm gonna select this. And then I go up to redshift, go to material, conversion, convert selected material, just to make it a redshift material. And then if I click on my, my new redshift grass, Hold the Alt key, I'm on PC, so I hold the Alt key, click and drag, then it replaces it right there. So now, if we go to MoGraph, go to Matrix, and then you can see our Matrix is brought up of all these cubes right here. And it works just like the cloner. Like I could go to Mode, go to Object, bring my landscape in, and boom, we have our Matrix and to represent each, um, each object's represented by a cube here. You can, you can bring your count level up to whatever you want. Let's start with like 500. And now here's where the redshift magic starts. So I go to my matrix, go to tags, come down to redshift, redshift object. And then inside here in my attributes, I have a particle tab now, which you didn't have before. And so now you can go to mode and go to custom objects. And from here, I'll bring over my forester grass and put that in there and you're not going to see it in here you're going to have to go to your viewport render to be able to see it and then i'll click play and you can see it's loaded up here and it's moving pretty fast now it's going to start off sideways the way to get around that is i had to go to um my up vector here in my matrix object and i did plus y and then um from there i just had to go to the transform and move it to like negative 90 to have everything sticking straight up there might be a better way of doing it but that's the quickest way i found to do that let me bring this down 75 there we go so now you can see we have our grass object across our plane and it's pretty, moving pretty decent we can even go back to matrix knock it up let's say 1500 we have even more grass in here, like 2,500. Or if you want, you could distribute on the vertices to have each vertice actually be a piece of grass here. So if I look in my viewport, each vertice is a piece of grass. And it's moving extremely fast here. And then the matrix, like I said, it works just like the cloner. So we could go up to MoGraph, we could put an effector in here, put a random effector, go to our parameters, let's make the Y zero. Let's take the scale, move it up just a tad bit, add a little bit of randomization in here. Then rotate, we could twirl it all around. Let's just raise it up. You can see in the viewport, they're all spinning, all different directions. Just add a little bit of randomness to it. And then you're gonna to wanna to light it. Right now everything's looking bland. So we're gonna go over to, I like using HDRs. So I'm gonna go over to Redshift, light, use a dome light. And then I'm just gonna, oh, it's already looking pretty decent there. Let me try to find 
one of my HDRs. see HDR light probes and let's go down to let's try table mountain 8k give it a second to load in and there we go so we have some decent grass scattered all across the plane here and it's moving pretty fast I can take my landscape Move it up, add a little bit of hills here, add a little bit of depth. So yeah, that's basically how you use the matrix with Redshift now. And like I said, it works pretty fast. I just did a project with it for a network that I work with. And yeah, it rendered extremely well. And I was able to add a lot more foliage into my scene. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you like what I did here, you know, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. I'm going to do more videos like this. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just let me know. Leave a comment and um, I'll get back to you. Until then, keep creating. Thanks again, guys.